Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a great Saturday thus far. And so in this video, I'll be taking you guys through what is currently going on across the North Atlantic. There are two heavy rainfall if, uh, events that will be a bit persistent across some areas. And so I'll be taking you guys through what is expected as we progress through the next couple of days. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap notification bell so that you never miss an important update all right and so let us go ahead and return to this satellite imagery here we can definitely see where some activity is taking place across some areas and uh, we've got our first tropical wave of the season out in the tropical atlantic and there is another that is going to be emerging from africa so looking at the surface chart here uh we can see that there is that other wave uh inland and so it will be moving off the coast of africa as we head into the new week so going back to this imagery here as we can notice that there is quite a bit of convection noted across some areas we see uh, just north of Hispaniola and the vicinity of parts of the northern Caribbean and out into the Atlantic as well as uh, for parts of northern South America so we're going to be zooming in uh, on those areas and seeing what is happening. First up though, we're going to be taking a look at what is happening for northeastern South America. And so we can see that there is some convective activity, especially in the vicinity of Venezuela. Uh, but uh, we've got some activity over into parts of Guyana and Suriname as well. Over into French Guiana, we see mostly cloud cover. So uh, as we're going to be heading throughout today, of course, uh, there can be the buildup of those afternoon showers and thunderstorms but drifting to the west a bit more to northwestern south america take a look at this we've got a lot of activity over here a lot of deep convection a lot of heavy rainfall taking place for some areas now this is going to be affecting panama and colombia so uh very high rainfall totals are also expected within the region and if you guys are there i implore you to all uh stay safe as best as possible do not take any unnecessary risks because this is going to be persistent uh, as we're going to be heading into the next few days so uh flooding is definitely likely uh, within the area as a result of all of this convective activity and it is due to a trough in the region so that is inducing uh, helping to induce all of this activity that we are seeing here and so i'll uh, go in up north and zoom in out a bit looking at the caribbean region generally we can see that there isn't too much happening right now but there we have that convective activity up into parts of the bahamas and turks and caicos islands uh, now that is going to be inducing a lot of rainfall for uh, parts of the northern caribbean as well but uh for other areas you can see that it's mainly sunshine especially going to the east and uh to the southeast the abc islands trinidad tobago uh, maybe some cloud cover same story for barbados uh so for the most part, there isn't much happening across the Caribbean islands. And uh, zooming into that area, just to the uh, north of Hispaniola, thereabouts, we can see that we have all of this shower and thunderstorm activity. Now, this is in association with a surface trough. And this is what models were sniffing at to say that something could possibly develop from this. Maybe not anything strong, but we might see some development heading into this new week. However, as of right now, as of the 8 a.m. update, nothing has been marked on the National Hurricane Center's graphical tropical weather outlook uh, for development during the next seven days. However, that can change at any time, so I'm going to keep watching it. But uh, the immediate concern is with the rainfall expected. So uh, let us now go ahead and take a look at the maps from the different models from the GFS and Euro to see what is anticipated in terms of all of that rainfall activity. Here we have it. Uh, first up, we have euro and of course the more colorful this map becomes the higher the rainfall total now this is what is expected between uh today and go into tomorrow and there we have the different colors with values beside them. Now those values indicate how much rainfall is expected in inches. And we can see that easternmost Cuba, going to Jamaica, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, uh, and of course the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands are likely to experience some substantial rainfall as we progress throughout this time frame here. Going down into parts of the uh, eastern Caribbean, we can see that some rainfall activity is also likely, especially down in the southeast for 
for uh, in the vicinity of the Windward Islands and also for Trinidad and Tobago. So there is a possibility that uh, you guys here can receive some rainfall as you're going to be heading through today and through tomorrow as well. But of course, uh, for the ABC Islands, not seeing where much is expected. For Northern South America, most areas are expected to receive uh, some substantial rainfall. And of course, the highest totals on this map are seen over into parts of the Eastern Pacific and sections of Northwestern Colombia. As I said, the rainfall is likely to trigger flooding across some areas. So I really hope that everyone there is taking all necessary precautions and staying safe. But going further up into uh, Central America, we can see that not much rainfall is likely for you guys. Maybe some brief showers here and there across some areas. And also going to the uh, most of Cuba and the Cayman Islands as well. Going on to the GFS, we can see that it is generally the same thing the model is expecting, uh, showing those highest totals being offshore of uh, Colombia, which would be some good news if those highest rainfall totals will remain out in the Pacific because, of course, uh, all of that continuous heavy rainfall uh, jeopardizes life and property. But uh, we can see that the model is showing that there is going to be some, some substantial rainfall across most of the Caribbean. That will be possible for those uh, other areas outside of where we have the troughs uh, within the afternoon hours as we head to later today. It's so likely that we're going to be seeing the buildup of those showers and thunderstorms, a lot more of that across sections of the Caribbean. And so uh, in terms of us seeing development just to the north of the Caribbean, development is certainly not impossible and multiple models have been hinting at us seeing something, maybe even two systems as are going to be heading into next week. And so uh, in order for us to see any sorts of development so the conditions have to be conducive enough to allow for that to happen and one of those major factors is the sea surface temperature and as we look at the sea surface temperature map here uh, we can definitely see where things are heating up nicely across sections of the Caribbean going to the Gulf of Mexico and also out into the Atlantic and so uh, should anything actually develop this week uh, I wouldn't expect it to be anything strong because conditions are not highly favorable at this time of year for us to see anything major out there but of course i'm gonna keep tracking all that is happening for you guys and the major concern with this video was the rainfall and not so much development because it doesn't seem as though uh, it is very imminent at this time so of course i'm going to be keeping you updated and i'm going to be talking more about it in tomorrow's countdown video as we head to the start of the hurricane season in just several days so if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course, remember to always do otherwise.